Joanne from Magpie's Cottage. I'm Amy. Nice to see you this morning. Yes. Yeah. Happy Halloween, so, thanks, almost. Thanks, I'll be gone, so I won't be giving out candy. Going up to UP. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. Yep. Gonna go up and see the kids. Maybe gamble a little. Rands and gambling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a double G trip. Yeah. See, we call it when we do the when we go up there to, to we go to the island. Uh -huh. Um we call it the double G trip. Oh, golf and gamble. Golf and gamble. So you got a double G G trip too. Grands yeah. and gamble. Yep. Oh, that sounds fun. So. I could use I have not been gambling in a while. Mm hmm I could use a gambling trip. Okay. I might have to talk to the old guy. Hmm. We'll see. I have a surprise to show you. Oh no. Yes, my appointment yesterday. Yes. I went and got a tattoo. Oh my God! I love it! Oh my, I'm just shocked by this, you guys. <laughs> that, she, you were so, when you said. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. A little quilt. I'm just shocked. Yeah. Well, okay. My first tattoo at age six. Well, the funny <laughs> thing is, oh, I've toyed with that too, but uh -huh. I don't have the guts. Anyways, no, you were so evasive. I said, well, you know, cause when you could, yeah. you had to be out of here at three yesterday. Yeah. And I'm going, oh, damn, I got an infusion. Yeah. And then, no, no different sweet. appointment. I'm going, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's I'm awesome. Just surprise okay, you. Okay, did it hurt? Only a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't really hurt. It's pretty. It, I had a little scar right in the middle here. Yeah. And it's still, it's kind of discolored. It bled there. And he said that happens if you have scars, they bleed a little extra. Okay. I have a little spot over here that was bleeding too, a little extra. Huh. But, no. I love the color. Yeah, I told him I wanted full color. And I showed him kind of what I wanted, and then... And he, he, just, he drew he just, it, yeah. He designed it from there? Yeah, I made it the appointment two weeks ago, and so he had it all drawn out when I got there yesterday. I was home by like, or I was out of there by like 10 after 5, so from 3.30, 10 after 5, so it didn't take very long either. Where'd you go? There's a new place called Chicory Root Tattoo Studio on A Street right, right next door to Paradigm. Okay. Yeah, it's really nice. There's a bunch of different artists in there. Kayla owns the place, but I had Handy Joe do it. Handy Joe. Mm. Handy Joe. And uh, I asked around about him, and Jana, the one that was in the weaving class, I think you know her from weaving. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, yeah, uh, he's a really nice guy. He'll do a good job. So I got a, okay. I got a referral there. So, yeah, and I think he did a wonderful job. And they're really clean It's beautiful. There. And, yeah, yeah. Totally happy. I'm shocked. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. Yep, so I have a tattoo. Old person tattoo. Yeah. Yep. I got to get another one soon, too, on this arm for knitting. You know, can't have one craft without the other. Okay, and the next... <laughs> So I guess I can't use the line when you're old and saggy, baggy. Wait till you see what that tattoo looks like. No, nope, no, nope. <laughs> it'll stay like this forever. Oh ever. my gosh. <laughs> mm. That's just shocking. Yep. I'm speechless. That's pretty. Thank I you. have to say, it is really pretty. Uh huh. Thank you. Mm. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose yeah. I could say, I fell down last night and I got yeah. a bruise on my chin. Yeah. Did a yeah. face plant skin my knee? Uh, Every inch of my body is aching today. Uh-huh. Uh, and, and you know what? It's just, it just is so, so upsetting. Yeah. Um, because we're walking in and I could feel my knee swelling up as I'm walking through the garden. Yeah. Every inch of me aches and... I'm mad at myself because I haven't fallen like that, you know, rolled an ankle, boom, down like a ton of bricks for a really long time. Mm -hmm. And so I got home, put ice on it, sat in a chair, took ibuprofen this morning so I can, well, a leave so it lasts me all day so I can mm -hmm. move today without every inch of me aching. And then I reach for, to get in the car to come here. 
my key is gone. My car doesn't have a key key. It mm -hmm. has a fob. Right. And you got the fob with you. You can get into your car and run your car. Right. Okay. Well, I left my purse in the car because I didn't want to lug it. But my key was in my purse, so I have to take my key out of my purse, put mm -hmm. my key in my pocket so that my car will lock when I'm gone. Yeah. I get to my car this morning. No key. Oh. So now I'm freaking out. I don't know where my key fob is. Uh -huh. And um, I don't know, check my jeans. It wasn't in my jeans pocket. It's not in my coat pocket. <sighs> what did I wear? I had nothing on with pockets um, on my shirt. Mm. So that, you know, wasn't helpful. So now my key fob might be at the center parking lot. But like, didn't you drive home? You would have needed Ron it. Ron had his. Oh. See. Oh, okay. So if he was in the car with you, yeah. Yeah. He, his keys were in his pocket. Yeah. So when we got back to the car, mm -hmm. we didn't need my key because we had his. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I just. <sighs> I got to drive over there after you're done here and look on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Because those need things a, are I, expensive. I, I, yeah, they are. And I, I'm just sick about it. So, in addition to every inch of my body aching this morning and a skinned knee, how do you skin your knee without ripping your jeans? I've done it, yeah. It happens. My knee is skinned black mm -hmm. and blue. Um, my chin is bruised. I got a bruise here on my hand. That's At a little one. At least you didn't one. break anything. Last year when I fell, I broke my elbow. You're, you're break free. <laughs> Be happy for You that. know, that's not funny because... You're right. That is a fear of mine. I don't, I mean, my dog would love to be walked more, but I don't walk my dog far because mm -hmm. I'm afraid of falling. Yeah. You know, and this was just loose, you know, there was a divot, mm -hmm. you know. Uneven ground. Uneven ground. And, and, and I grabbed for Ron, but eh, that didn't help. Yeah. What the hell? You're grabbing onto me. Get away from me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Could you give me some walking space? I mean, that's what he was, he was starting to say that as I'm grabbing uh -huh. for him as I'm going down. Oh. oh, man. The good news, they had apple cider with brandy in. Oh. I walking through the bookworm gardens last okay. night. Okay. I had some. Mm -hmm. I could have used an extra shot of brandy. Even yeah. my hand, my wrists hurt. Oh, know? yeah, if you fell on them, for sure. That's a lot of weight being pushed right on your wrist. Yeah. So. Oh. Yep. I, I have no idea where that key fob could be. Yeah, I would drive over there and just look around a little. I think I'd better take a leaf blower. You could blow the oh, leaves. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Blow the leaves out of where I fell, at least, you know. Then, yeah. then you won't have to dig through the leaves to find it. Mm. Yeah, because the key fobs don't make noise. No. You can't get them to make noise. Anyway. No. Like a phone, you can call it, but yeah. Yeah, and yeah, those fobs are expensive just to order one. You yeah. Know, another fob. Anywhere oh. from 100 to $300. Don't tell me that. I'm yeah. thinking it's more than that. I'm thinking yeah. it's like 500 Oh, no. Who did I do? Somebody just got one, and it, was, it wasn't that much. Oh, okay. Well, so. at any rate. So that's my story for today. Okay. You get a tattoo, I get a wipeout. Okay. I like mine better. I do, too. <laughs> You know, and like tonight, we're supposed to go to a, a birthday retirement party, and it's at the Elks, and Ron is the, how should I say, the member that's sponsoring the event, so uh -huh. we have to be there. Yeah. And I would just like, he says to me this morning, and I, maybe I'm going to take him up on this, he says, well, maybe we take two cars over there, and you uh -huh. can come home. Oh, okay. You know, I mean, I'll go make my appearance and make nice mm -hmm. for a while, but I really, I, I mean, I am... Mm -hmm. I'm tired. I'm just stressed right now. I'm, yeah. I, I hurt. I just want to stay home. No, you sit need in my to chair. Knit. I want to sit in my chair. I don't even want to knit. Oh, okay. I mean, seriously, last night I was working on my mittens because mm -hmm. I wanted my mitten off the needle, my second mitten. I still mm -hmm. have the thumbs to do. We'll talk about that in a minute. But um, yeah, I, I just didn't want to do anything. 
I, I mean, I forced myself to knit on those mm -hmm. mittens. I really just wanted to veg in the chair. I didn't want to go to bed. I wasn't like that. I was stressed. I was up, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uptight, and 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 I just needed just to relax, and that was hard. Yeah. So. Yep. At any rate. Anyway, FOs. I got a couple. I have one. I. Well, I finished the blue mitts. Yes. That I was making, and I gave them away already. Who'd you give them to? The guy that did my tattoo. Oh, that was mitts. nice. Yeah. So that's why you had to get them done in black. Uh -huh. Oh, you were planning that all along. Yeah. Got it. Yep. So, and I wanted them blue. Here I thought the blue mitt one, you made one that was going to be a shop model. No, I wasn't making that for a pattern. Just Jackie asked me to make it a pattern. I wasn't making it for a pattern. I just made it for him. For him. Ah, oh, it, it had a purpose. Okay, got it. Then I made these mitts this week for Clayton. I put the stripes in, but really, you know, like especially on this one, it, the, it's too close. The variegated's kind yeah. of too close, but I don't care. I think I'm going to take the rest of the variegated and make a beanie hat with it. Oh, that'd I be fun. Lot, I got a lot of that left. The mittens used most of a 50 gram ball of some Louisa Harding that was on clearance. Oh yeah, that stuff is nice to earn. It is, it's really soft. Yeah. Feel that part. The, the variegated is just opal uh, six ply. But the, yeah. So yeah, so those are for Clayton. I'm gonna see him this weekend. Oh, Clayton gets new mittens, good. Well, they all do. Remember, I showed Kylie's last week, oh, that's the right. fuzzy ones. And then these are for Aubrey. These, uh, I showed him one halfway done but now it has a thumb and it has a pair oh, so that's those nice. are done and something else i finished this week this is oh been, my gosh this has been in my basement like for a year i swear i just do a row or two when i'm down there waiting for the laundry to finish and it's um the pearl soho dishcloth and it's or dish towel it's this really cool ribbing i really like this pattern I think it would make an excellent scarf it's a free pattern just go on Pearl Soho's website and I just added a, I don't think the little handle was here I added that on just to create a loop yeah and the the color work oh I could that you know cool? what? you know what it would be nice it's a nice weight of a towel you know how you always want to have a nice towel but then in your kitchen uh -huh. but then you grab it and wipe your sloppy hands on it Mm -hmm. This would be nice hanging over the oven handle kind mm -hmm. of thing in my kitchen. Yeah. Oh, I, I have it. been using it all week. I never blocked it. I just started using it right away. And the color work here is kind of cool because it's just on this side. You can hardly see it on this side. Um, what did you use? But it's I used Kid Cotton from Knitting Fever. Um, but I think any DK Cotton, like Ultra Pima or or any of those kind would work too. And the color work you do on a circular because you do it just across. Right. And then you drop that yarn and do the second row, you go back to the other end and do continue you on with the pink. You, do you have to weave your ends in carefully. Well, you just carry it up on one side. But you, But it always goes that way. You just said. Right. You start the green on this side and you start the pink on this side. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Right. I understand now. A little slow this morning. Yeah. Must be the brain fog I'm in after my wipeout. Yeah. So. I love the weight of it. Yeah. I really, it, I really, love the it's feel. It's not hard to knit. It's just. Putsy, because I bet you there's a. No. It's, it's dense. just slip. You just knit three, slip one with yarn in front. That's the trick. Yarn in front when you slip one. And then you get that nice rib looking from the back. Well, it has a beautiful weight to it. A it nice does. drape. It is so, and such, almost like a brioche kind of look, but yeah, not so yeah. thick. It, it's really nice. I can highly recommend that pattern. Okay, I'm going to have to find it. Yep. Did Pearl you see it on Ravel Ravelry? Yeah. Okay. Pearl Soho has beautiful patterns and half of them are free pearl soho dish towel yeah okay yeah. yeah you've been working on this for a while i remember that yeah 
I, I had it here for a little while, and then I took it home, mm -hmm. and it ended up as my basement project. So it's you know, funny. As you're waiting for the laundry to dry, you don't want to just sit there doing nothing. <laughs> so I go upstairs and do something else. No, I hang out in the basement because otherwise, I've been known to leave my clothes in the washer and forget oh. to put them in the dryer. You okay, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I do laundry, I go down there, I start the laundry, and then I either quilt something, dye yarn. And then if I have a few minutes left, then I'll work on this. So I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I have a recliner down there and everything. Oh, So okay. it's not like I'm sitting next to the wash machine. <laughs> no, I have a recliner Come down on, there. Come on, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I take my phone with my audio book, so. Okay. Yeah, it's just a nice, what, hour and a half I go downstairs. Okay. Yeah, so those are my FOs for this week. Do you have any FOs? Well, one I gave away, I can't show you, that was that yeah, scarf I was working on with Womies. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, your son came here and stole it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what happened was, okay, the girlfriend that's not really a girlfriend, okay, that I uh -huh. know of exists but have never met. Yeah. All right, and yeah, so because he doesn't know if it's really a girlfriend, that would explain why I haven't met her, okay. okay? But that doesn't mean he doesn't like to do nice things. And he said to me, oh, I don't know, week, two weeks ago, I don't know how long ago it was, he said, got anything that would be like blue and bat, black, like Lakeland colors? Now, being a Lakeland alum, I knew exactly what colors I needed. Uh -huh. And um, I thought, yeah, I do, I've got this scarf. That uh -huh. Womies, that blue and black and gray Womies, uh -huh was Lakeland Colors. And so I said, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. It'll be done in a couple weeks. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's why he did it. He knew uh, that that was on the needles. He hadn't seen it, uh -huh. okay? But he asked me if I had something. Yeah, yeah, he really liked it when he came in. Yeah, well, because it was for the not girlfriend girlfriend uh -huh. and it was in the right colors. And yeah. you know, the thing about it though is, okay, I mean, I don't know if she's a knitworthy person. I've never met her. Right. Okay. Um, but you know when you wear a, a, a long skinny shawl, because that's really what it was, a long yeah. skinny shawl, um, and you kind of need to be, if you're not a knit, knitting wearer in general, mm -hmm. if you don't have people like have given you knit things, you don't know how to wear them. Mm -hmm. It took me the longest time to figure out how to wear that stuff. Yeah. And right. so I'm a little concerned about that. But nonetheless, I'll figure it out. nonetheless, I may end up at his apartment at Christmas time and it'll still be there. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he just, he maybe won't. He, he, of all my three boys though, he's the one I love to knit for because mm -hmm. he, he values it. Okay. He appreciates it. Good. Um, <clears throat> Derek, forget it. Mm -hmm. Mom, don't make me anything. Oh, you know, don't do anything ever for Derek. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I think I want to knit him a hat and some... Um, well, I don't want to do gloves. Maybe I'll do fingerless for him. Um, a hat, because they're coming home for Christmas. I'm quite certain they don't have warm enough things. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I have to... So I've got it in my head now. I think I kind of want to do some um, Christmas knitting this year. I generally don't. Mm -hmm. But I have it in my head. Because remember that set of pillows mm -hmm. the, 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 that we did for the class? Yeah. Well, the set of pillows actually are in Ryan's furniture colors. Oh, okay. And um, that tree skirt, mm -hmm. that's Ashley. Okay. And I could knit that for her, and, and she would just be in heaven. Mm -hmm. um, and I could probably get that done before Christmas. And then if I would knit something for other people, it would have to be smaller projects. Mm -hmm. But once I get through this glut of deadlines that I have right now, um, I'd have time. Yeah. I don't have a lot on my December knitting calendar. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make hats and socks for people for Christmas again. Well, and I, I'm going to go through my FOs at home that I just... Yeah, because you've been collecting a bunch for your Christmas box for your nieces and nephews. Yeah, and I'm going to throw hats in there. I'm going to throw everything that I don't wear. Um, you know, like mm -hmm. I've knit hats. I knit myself a hat of the month sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, 
or I get a new jacket, need a new hat. And so I have got hats and mittens that I have knit for myself up the yin yang. So mm -hmm. at, um, I'm gonna put them in there and mm -hmm. I got plenty of yarn, I'll just make something else. You know, yeah. if I really miss it, I won't. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. At least that's right. the plan for today. Yeah. It could change dramatically. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but I do have my FO. Okay. And, you know, can't show you the shawl that Ryan swiped, but I can show you this. It's my um, Casapinka Snarkometer. And, okay, I will tell you, there was a whole story behind this. This yarn was purchased at SSK when I went, my one and only time that I got in. And the variegated was, ten, it's called Tennessee Mountain Retreat from Miss Babs. And it, I love this variegated. And so with that variegated at SSK in Miss Babs booth in the yarn shop or vendor market, um, they had the yellow and they had the light blue. So I bought the three of them together. Mm -hmm. But I wanted a fourth color because that's when four color shawls, this was like in 17. That's when like the oh, big- Oh, crown wools. All of them, yeah. everything was a four color group. Yeah, oh, he's right, I yeah. remember. It was like a, a everything, you couldn't, mm -hmm. you know, when I started doing shawls, everything was two color shawls. Mm -hmm. And so I started buying two color sets because I knew I wanted a two color shawl. Then things went to three and four color shawls. And um, so that's why I bought this as a set of three. And I re, when I do that, Oh, I'm, I have rules in my stash. And this is why my stash keeps growing, because I have so damn many rules. But um, I said, no, you cannot use the variegated without using the yellow and the blue with it. And because then everything was starting with four, four colors, I asked them what would be a fourth dark color. And that's when they recommended this topaz. Okay. So this is Miss Babs Woodbury, and it is no longer available because they don't, they don't have the space. Mm -hmm. So, and it's um, 100% no, it's it's a wool silk blend, okay. but it's non superwash. Okay. So, um, anyways, so I just thought I'm gonna. I, it was a four color thing. I'm gonna mm -hmm. use four colors. Here it is. This is side two. So it goes there. It's long. It's got fringe on the end. I love the fringe. Okay. And I will tell you that when I was knitting it, though, I did not like it. I oh really? It. Before oh. it was blocked. Yeah, I didn't like it at all. Mm -hmm. And then here is. The other, the beginning side. I love this thing. Now I love. Now that it's done, I love it. Mm -hmm. And it was the blocking that did it for me. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. the blocking is just gorgeous. Sure. So I don't know what I'm gonna wear with this. If I'm gonna throw it mm -hmm. over the back of a chair, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. All right. But it is beautiful. It just turned out wonderfully. Did you say the name of the pattern? Snarkometer. In Casapinka. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, gorgeous. I'm very happy. All right, yep. so that's my apple. All right. I got this blocked. Yeah, I blocked it. I finished it. I blocked it. And then I finished that um, whim um, scarf. Finished and blocked that. Put the fringe on this. I had a busy uh -huh. week. And then, that's it for FOs. Should we go to UFOs? Your whips? Go ahead. Okay. Because I don't really have an active whip because I finished two things yesterday. Well, that's true. So I have to start a new one. I'm going to start that hat in this yarn today, but I don't right now. These are called Gift Box, box Mitts. That's the pattern, Gift Box Mitts, and it's by Stephanie um, Laffin. Okay. So they call for a half a skein of fingering weight. Now, I don't know why anybody would make fingering weight mittens because I like them thicker and warmer. But mm -hmm. for this time of year, so these would be my November mittens. You know, I laugh about mittens of the month. Mm -hmm. These are my November mittens. And then the other pair is my December mittens. Okay. And that's because, you know, my wool cape with the snowflakes on that I wear? Yeah. This is going to be gorgeous with it. Yeah. This color is amazing. So uh -huh. I'm, I'm going to make cowls that match these. Okay. And, and and this goes with my orange, but also my gray jacket. The, oh, okay. There's a green in here that looks gray in, in this in this color. Um, it's called Freddy, and this is leading men yarn. So, yeah. Okay. I like fingering weight um, gloves or mittens 
As the ones you leave in your pocket of your coat. That's exactly it. That's because where these will be. Because they're not so bulky. You can I get have... the thicker ones out when you go out and do outdoor stuff. These are my October ones I'm wearing. Oh, my Day yeah. of the Dead ones. Yep. So, yeah, they're in my coat pocket. But, yeah, so. And, and oddly enough, they're fingering weight. <laughs> so. But color work, it's like they're double. Yeah, they are. And these are nice and warm. Hey, and when I wiped out last night, I had my mittens on. Oh, saved your hands from getting scratched up. Yeah, that. and my mittens, no damage. Yay. No damage to the mittens. Excellent. Yeah, good yarn. What can I say? Mm -hmm. At any rate, so, yeah. Okay. My gift box mitts. So, they don't have thumbs yet. Thumbs will happen during the okay. Badger game this afternoon. I'm going to, okay. I am going to go, I have to, when I get home, i got to help Ron do some yard work. Uh -huh. um, because, you know, my plants and, and, you know, the foundation and the garden and all of that, my plants, he won't cut off and, you know, get rid of the dead stuff unless I'm there. Okay. And the reason is because he never knows what's a plant and what's a weed. Okay. So I have to help him. But I won't have to help long because of my wipeout. Okay. He knows that walking around the yard is not going to be good for me. So. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, so last night I'm sitting there. I really wanted to go to bed. And mm -hmm. I had to... Th I wanted these off the needles. I just said, no, I'm finishing mm. the hand. Because... I wanted it off the needles. All right. So, yeah, so tonight, then, I am going to hopefully find time to cast on something new. Well, I'll uh -huh. get these thumbs done, and then I'm ca I have a new cast on. And it's going to be out of your yarn that you dyed, the set of minis that, okay. that were in our retreat bag, and then the, those grays that I bought, the dark mm -hmm. charcoal gray. And it is going to be a shawl. And I can't think of the name. It'll come. Okay. It'll Look come. for it here next week. Yeah, it'll be here next. Well, I won't be here next week. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a retreat. It's a knitting thing next week, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I leave Thursday morning. Okay. And I come back Sunday. So, so you'll good. have to podcast without me next week if okay. you want to. All right. Or if I need to do a different tutorial or something. Well, that might I be might, because those, I was working on those mittens. I brought them finished, right? Mm hmm Okay. Because I knew I brought them in progress once, but yeah, mm -hmm. I might do a tutorial on sock tube mittens. Oh, no, I didn't bring them. I should have brought them. I took the toe, the top off. Oh, and you did a toe? And I did it like a wedge. A wedge. Yeah. Much nicer, huh? Yeah, but I didn't do full wedge. I kind of rounded it like I do on my socks. Okay. Whatever. It's a nice yeah. mitten top. Yeah. I mean, this one you decreased um, down to like, oh gosh, 12 stitches, something like that, 10 stitches. Mm -hmm. And then you kitchener. Okay. And yeah. I, like th I like this mitten top best. Yeah. Kind of well, funny. for the kids, I just pull it tight. Oh, that's different. You kids know, are different. Yeah. A couple so. rows of decreases and pull it tight, it works fine yeah. for kids. So, um, before we get into the new stuff, I just want to mention retreat. It's time to sign up for the retreat. Go on the computer, sign up. We uh, need to fill up the retreat in January. It is, what's the date? It's the 21st. It Something like that. 21st or 23rd, something like that. Go on, on the website, get all the information, call me, get information, whatever you need to do, sign up for the retreat. I guess I better do that today, huh? Yeah. Okay, when we're done, don't okay. let me leave here unless I get that done. Okay. Because I need to do that. Because we've, okay. we've been talking about it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, duh, I'm not signed up yet. How yeah. stupid. But I have every intention of going. <laughs> okay. And, um... The class for that hat, the Leaf Keeper hat, has been changed to November 17th at 3 in the afternoon. So um, look for that change. Sign up for that hat class. Yes, and then the next one, the December hat. Which we can't do in December. On that first on Saturday. That Saturday, because we're gone. Right. So we'll have to change that. I don't know. Yeah. If they're, you know, I mean, we can do the Wednesday afternoon thing, too. I love yeah. doing the Wednesday afternoon thing. Yeah. So, um, that's fine with me. Okay. So, maybe we just switch the hat class to Wednesday. And if somebody wants to, well, you know, I'm working, um, we can do it Wednesday night. Yeah. 
Okay, I mean, and you know, and, and that would be something, whoever signs up for the class, we can talk about it. I'm open mm -hmm. to both. Mm -hmm. So it, it doesn't matter to me, I'm not going anywhere. Right, right. Except so. the first Wednesday in December, December 1st. Mm. Can't okay. do that. Okay. Don't put me on a class that day, All December right. 1st. Now, um, December 15th in Knitting 101, People watching this probably don't care though. Yeah. Beginner knitters aren't gonna watch a knitting podcast. Um, but I will say that last knit, last session of knitting 101 I did with the two eight that was just the most wonderful class. Okay, good. I, it, I mean, I left here thinking oh, that was successful. Those good. two are knitters now. Yeah. You know, it was good. just I just felt good about that one. You know, and it's funny because sometimes you know they didn't get it. Mm -hmm. And you, you just, you don't feel good about it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you know they got it and it feels great. And that's yeah. what, that was, that class was a great class. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I just, I enjoyed it very much. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, so then on to what's new in the shop. Oh my gosh. This stuff came in this week. It, this is Plymouth Homestead Tweet. It is an air and weight. What was it, 191 yards, I think. Um, it is a gorgeous tweet. It is not super washed, just so you know, not super washed, hand washed, lay flat to dry. But I think this would make such a nice cardigan, like a big shawl color grandpa cardigan. I think it would make a great guy hat. Yeah, that too. And it, you'd use size 9 or 10 needles, so yeah. it would fly off the needles. It's beautiful yarn. I just, the colors are so rich and intense, and uh -huh. I, I just love it. Just and I love have it. four of them here. I think they're sending me two more yet. Wow. But, you know, supplies right now, you kind of got to take what you can. Right, right. So right now we got four, and I think these are the perfect four to get. For this time of year, absolutely. Because you have absolutely. a blue, green, red, and this one's called taupe, which, you know, it can look brown, it can look gray, depending on what you put it next to. So, um, There was yeah. this color, there was people, that some friends of mine were talking, grayish. It's a uh -huh. grayish, a gray beige, grayish. Yeah. But, so. I mean, I just think this could be a wonderful, like, I'm thinking, a rib sweater uh -huh. for a gentlemanly um, a guy. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Yep. So and then, that, that, those four are just awesome. Then, we got in another, a purple. This is Ella Ray Silky Kid Mohair. Okay. When you are holding a mohair with something, you cannot beat the price of this Ella Ray stuff. It is uh -huh. beautiful mohair. The colors are great. It it's just has a great fuzz to it. That mohair look you want. I mean, there are lots of silk mohairs out there, or, or mohair silk blends. You know, super kid mm -hmm. mohair and silk is what this is. Um, there are lots of them out there, but for the price, this stuff is awesome. Mm -hmm. I have used this in multiple projects. Mm -hmm. Still you, and yeah. it, it um, we're talking fifteen bucks. Normally, this this stuff is double that. Um, yeah. The Ella Ray, it's just wonderful yarn. Right. So I can't see enough about it, and there's a good variety of colors. Mm -hmm. I know there's pink up there, there's blue, there's uh, black, mm -hmm. there might be red. some red, yep. and, and, and of course white. Yeah. Um, Two different blues. Yeah. So yeah. when you want to hold this double with something, it, mm -hmm. it's awesome. Yeah, I like that. So yeah, now we got purple. Yep. So I I wasn't gonna get this at first because this? this is the Cash Merino. It's a lot like the Debbie Bliss Cash Merino we used to have. Okay. And then um, Knitting Fever stopped carrying that. I I don't have any more Debbie Bliss products. Um, but this is just about the same. Fifty gram balls. It's a sport weight, but this pairs beautifully with that itty bitty we have mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so like if we want to pair one of those with the itty bitty to make that descent cowl yep that we've made in the past this would work perfectly okay okay i have other colors on order but all i got was black right now so i have the black you you know it'll pair with the itty bitty it'll be good for color work i never recommend black for a whole project for people no it's too yeah. easy too hard to see. So, and what's um, this? Oh, this Painted is Painted Sky. Sky, which we have had, had here a lot, but this is a color called Bloodstone. 
it's a brown, kind of a reddish brown with a denim blue. Now that's the worsted version or the DK version? Yeah, it's worse. They have it as a four, a worsted. Yeah, I don't buy the Painted Desert anymore, the, the fingering weight one, because it's kind of thick, thin, and I don't like the quality of the yarn. But the Painted Sky is very even. You can see it, you know, very even, no thick, thin issues. So to me, it's a whole different yarn. It's nothing like the Painted Desert. Hmm. But it does have this, it, it does kind of stripe. You yeah, can hardly it's got long see collar it runs here, too. But it, it has a very subtle stripe. But because the yarn is marled, you don't always see it. You can see if I pull it open like that. Oh, sure, there's a button blue. Then you can blue. see, you know, you're going to Yeah, get like if you look right area. here, this, yeah. there's the blues. Yeah, so, so it's going to change into that. So that's that. And what do you have there? We were sitting here, we're late to podcasting today, and we're hoping customers aren't walking in the door now, because yeah. we're late this morning. But that's because we were both oogling over this book. I think this book is going home with me today. Okay. It's the new Harry Potter one. And Tannis Gray has done a couple of these collections. This is the second Harry Potter one. Um, a couple months back, the we second showed... knit. The second knit one? Because, yeah, There's there, a was a, one. there was a knit, then a crochet, and now second knit. And a couple months there was a knit Star Wars one. I knit a pillow out of that, and um, oddly enough, that was for Ryan too. But anyways, in here, the patterns are gorgeous. We were just oogling over them. Um, so these are on the cover. These are designed by Esther Braithwaite, these little dolls. They're awesome. Here, mittens with owls, delivered by owls. Um, this is a cowl. This is Newt Scamander's, um, that, that little, it was like a tree, a twig that walked in that um, one with the animals, with the suitcase, the new, oh, I can't think oh, of the title. I, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, then here's yeah. the back. These socks are the Marauder socks, they're by Lisa Ross. Those are cute. They're cute. Um, then there's this little bag, but I love this guy sweater. Okay, I love this sweater. But you know the thing about the sweater, it's it's a very classic rib style sweater. I could see knitting that in green and gold for my favorite Packer, pan, Packer fan. You know, mm -hmm. and um, it's just a beautiful, nicely looking mm -hmm. sweater. Up here, this is a felted cloche. How cool is that? Yeah. And then, so. Oh, oh there was that tree skirt in there too. Well, yeah, okay. It's, it's, that's why I'm, I'm thinking I'm buying this book because I won't be able to get the book anywhere or get the pattern anywhere until, um, oh, look it. Okay. A cape. There's a lot of trends. Wait, there but is the a cape, lot of patterns. The in cape there. calls for a worsted, but I bet you you could do it in a DK or a, a, a Aaron. Oh, sure. Yeah, that yarn would be perfect. But anyways, the tree skirt, I gotta find it. Yeah. Oh, look at a set, some color work socks. Okay. Mm, interesting. You gotta buy the book. Gotta buy the book. There's at least 30 patterns, I think, and it's only $29.95. And so, yeah. It's okay, where the heck is that tree skirt? I think you're coming to, I just saw the owls. There's the owls, there's the marauder socks. Oh, for heaven's sakes, now I if can't find all it. all else fails, look Try at the, the index. index. It's way yeah. in the back. That's why I was too far forward. Oh, it is so it gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And you know what? I just got in that white yarn from Encore. It's called Encore Stars, and it's white with sparkle. I have to look at that. Yeah, that um, would be perfect. But there's these trees here. Okay, the trees here. But then up here, it's white owls all around up here. And, and mm -hmm. the owls are created by making cables. Yeah, and the trees oh. have little beads on the edges. I just love it. I do too. And it, yeah, it calls for a worsted weight. I'm making that for sure. Oh, I can't. Yeah. 900 silver lined crystal beads. 
size uh, five millimeter. So there's, oh, there's, yeah, here, look. There's more beads here. Oh, to make snowflakes. Yeah. You can hardly see them in the picture, but. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, we gotta make so, this. So, yep. So, um, their books are on the website. This one's going home. Okay. Along with that cool. yarn. All right. We can get that off. <laughs> books, yarn. What do I need? Okay, so this is the ridiculous thing. I said I needed a long uh, color one kind of self-striping. And I wanted worsted weight. And she says, oh, I just put some in clearance. And this is, I've never used this yarn. It's by Cascade. And it's 55% wool, 26% silk, and 19% mohair. And it's kind of looks like it's got a weird twist, a thick and thin thing going on. It's called Casablanca. Yeah, it's like it's a single ply. Yeah. Um, the November Knit Along for Laura Ayler is a, uh, a, a shawl called Rickle. And she used a Noro product called Akari. Now we've got the Curion here, but not mm -hmm. Akari. No. And I have no idea what this Akari stuff is. I've never seen it. I'm not a big Noro fan anyways, mm -hmm. but it does self-stripe and it does have long color mm -hmm. runs. And this is a weirdly unique construction kind of shawl calling for worsted weight. This yarn is gonna be amazing Good. in this shawl. Good. And um, so yeah, I just gotta look up before I go how much I need. Um, but yeah, there's another purple color, but I think it was around 900 yards. So maybe four will do it. Mm -hmm. So that's what this is gonna be. This will not be my new cast on today. I'm gonna get that other one done. Like it's a Kate Atherley pattern. Um, kindred spirit or kindred something, something like that. Okay. I'll put it in the in the Ravelry notes. Okay. But, oh, I got one other thing. I got. Oh my show. gosh, one other thing. Always one other thing. You know how that is. Yeah. Well, last time I stopped before I showed it. Oh yeah, yeah. I was thinking about you when you were talking about no whips, and I'm thinking, yeah, you do. Well. Another thing I finished yesterday. Oop. Uh oh, lost a hanger. Well, first of all, Cindy and I were making these last week Friday. They are hangers for little Christmas ornament sweaters. So we are bending those out of wire. Yeah, you can't really see. <coughs> Try to if get you up close. Know there. Yeah. If you want to know how to make them, West Wool has a pattern called Tiny Sweaters, and it shows you how to make the hangers. It's on Ravelry, West Wool Tiny Sweaters. And here's one of the little sweaters. I made a little sweater. <laughs> it's so cute. It's not the best sweater, you know, but, and I messed up on the directions in one place on the increases. Oops. But, yeah. I want to make it, this one's a little small. I want to make it a little bigger because I used the self patterning yarn and it really didn't get a chance to shine in this small of a circumference. Yeah, maybe so, it, I would say probably four more stitches. Yeah, I'm gonna, this one I think I cast it on 18. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna cast on 20 oh, and I'm gonna person. increase differently. Okay so that it gets bigger around. Okay. So, but yeah. So that was an FO, and these were a lot of fun to make, these little hangers. Yeah. So, yeah. So it was just wire, needle nose pliers. We were bending, one, bending them. Cool. Yeah. Okay, now I'm done. Now she's done. All right, well, I gotta go figure out what yarn I need. Okay. Um, for my next cast on. All right. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. See you next